Good morning and welcome to this Sunday sermon from Holy Saviour Church in Hitchin on this 19th Sunday after Trinity. I'd like to read to you a very short passage from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, beginning at verse 13. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God, like a little child, will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them and blessed them. Jesus says to us that unless we become like little children, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Most of us tend to regard childhood as something that we move on from, that we grow out of, that we leave behind us, as if there was nothing in that that was worth holding on to, worth keeping. I think it's important that we understand the difference between childishness and childlikeness. Being childish suggests immaturity, it suggests throwing tantrums, it suggests being foolish, being irresponsible, and let's face it, children are not little angels. These are things we do need to grow out of. However, there are wonderful childlike qualities that we should try to hold on to. And I mean by that things like openness, things like receptivity, having a sense of just complete wonder at the world around us, and especially too, the ability to live in the now, in the present. Sadly, what tends to happen is we lose some of the good qualities of the child and keep some of the worst. We cease to be childlike, but we go on being childish. What is it that we lose with the loss of our youth? For one thing, imagination is definitely much, much stronger in children. Every child seems to be somehow blessed with a sense of deep wonder. They have a vision that's fresh, that's really clear. William Wordsworth put it rather well. He said, heaven lies about us in our infancy. And somehow children can see everything as if they're seeing it for the very, very first time. The painter, Pablo Picasso, said that his great ambition was to paint like a child. He said that art should startle us into seeing the world anew, afresh, the way that children do. Children in many ways teach us how to live. They've not got stuck into their grooves. They've not become prisoners of routine, of, of, of prejudice and habit. They are always just who they are. And that's what make ch makes children really charming and unique. And in a way, happiness is a sort of natural state of small children, especially. They have the capacity to wring all sorts of enjoyment out of very, very small and simple things. You've often perhaps seen a child playing with something as simple as a, a really tatty old doll or stuffed toy, and yet that still brings delight into that child's heart for weeks and weeks on end. When we become adults, we look for more. And why is that? I think it's maybe because we somehow lose the soul of children. It's one of the tasks, I think, of the church to try to keep that 
childlike soul alive. And nothing is easier as life goes on than to grow old in heart, to become dry, to become disillusioned, to become cynical, to become selfish. Children really do put us in touch with the gentler, the more innocent part of themselves that we might have just forgotten or discarded in the struggles and the battles of life. And children revive in us too a sense of wonder. And it is the sense of wonder above all that can keep us in touch with the young inside of us. When Jesus says to us, unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. I think he's recalling us to our lost childhood. So that though we could be old and frail in body, we can still be reborn in innocence of character. Jesus says we can't enter the kingdom unless we receive it like a child. And you see, the kingdom is a gift. And perhaps children are more suited for the kingdom because they know, they know how to receive a gift. No one can enter the kingdom who is not open to receiving it simply as a gift. Our hymn for today is Meekness and Majesty. And may God's peace go with you.